it's me again. How are you today? I am coming to you live from my backyard and <coughs> I have a book from my cousin in Ohio. She sent me this a long time ago. It's called The Hog Mollies in the Zooming Zackle Zort. And it's written by the Second and Seven Foundation and it's illustrated by Jason Tharp. The Second and Seven Foundation is a group in Ohio of ex-Ohio State football players who want to make sure every kid in second grade has access to books. So they, they, they go into all the schools and they give the kids books like these. And my cousin knew I would love these, so she sent me two of them. So here we go. I'm bored, said Harley. What should we do? Hey, let's see what's new at High Street Toys, Duke suggested. High Street is the, the street that runs right in front of Ohio Stadium. Or my Ohio State Buckeyes play. Once inside, the hog mollies ran their separate ways. Duke went straight for the cars. Harley, the model trains. Hoppy, the marbles. And Sprout, the building block. You can see how there's prices on all the different toys. Then all at once, the hog mollies looked up and noticed the greatest toy ever. Wow, said Harley, it's even cooler than I imagined. How much does it cost? Sprout wondered, five dollars. Five dollars, Duke answered. That's way too much for me. But maybe if we combine our money, we could buy one to share, Hoppy said. Let's head back to the clubhouse and count what we have. They're looking at the new Zooming Zackel Zort toy. So there's the toy they all want. And there's how much it costs. The hog mollies Eagerly reached, their eagerly reached for their clubhouse savings. They dumped out their jars and began counting their piles. One dollar here, exclaimed Sprout. One dollar here, Duke echoed. Me too, Hoppy said. And I have one dollar too, said Harley. That means we are short one dollar. Because Sprout had a dollar, Duke had a dollar, Hoppy had a dollar, and Harley had a dollar. So four plus what is gonna equal five? Can you may think of a number bond? Tell me the answer down below, even though I already told you. That means we are short. Not enough for the zooming Zackel Zord groans brought. That night, the hog mollies couldn't escape their disappointment. They dreamt about the zooming Zackel Zord. The next day, the hog molly shared their similar dreams of the zooming Zackel Zort. I guess we have to keep saving, Duke said. Someday we'll have enough. As they walked along, they saw it, a crisp dollar bill on the sidewalk in front of them. How exciting is that? They found a dollar. Because four, four plus one is five. Now we have five dollars, Duke said excitedly. Let's head to the toy store to buy the zooming Zackel Zoit. Wait! Look, interrupted Harley. The dollar was right in front of this house. Grumpy Gus lives here. Should we see if it belongs to him? What would you guys do if you found a dollar in front of somebody's house? The hog mollies huddled together with a shiver. They never wanted to go near his house. Finally, Sprout spoke up. Let's just keep the dollar. We can get the toy and Grumpy Gus will never know. Harley shook his head. No, guys, it's not our dollar to spend. We have to ask Gus if it belongs to him. Okay, Harley, then you go ask him, said Hoppy. I'm not going near that front door. How about we all go together, Duke suggested. 
um, excuse me, Mr. Gus, sir, um, um, we found this dollar outside and well, we were wondering if it belonged to you. Harley stampered and just as quickly as he opened the door, grumpy Gus snatched the dollar and slammed the door in their face. Slam, slam. The hog mollies ran from the front door, heads hanging low. They made it to their clubhouse headquarters. It wasn't very nice that Grumpy Gus just to rip it out of their hands. Why did you make me do that? Harley, Hoppy snapped at Harley. Now we'll never have enough money for the zooming Zackle Zort. Yeah, Duke added. Then Grumpy Gus didn't even thank us for returning his money. Knock, knock. Just as Harley was about to explain, there was a loud knock at the door. Oops. Knock, knock. The hog mollies. Oh, I didn't show you guys the page. Sorry. Sorry. The hog mollies rushed to answer and found a huge surprise. Together, they carried the box inside. Before they opened it, what do you think it could be? They began opening it. The hog mollies could not believe their eyes. The zooming Zackle Zort. That's kind of like a cool toy to me. And look, Harley exclaimed, there's a note. Dear Harley, Sprout, Hoppy, and Duke, I am the owner of the High Street Toys, and I saw you in my store the other day. I know how much you wanted the zooming Zackle Zort. You were all so nice to return my missing. You were also nice. You all were so nice to return my missing dollar that I decided to thank you for doing the right thing, even when it wasn't easy. I am very proud of you. Enjoy the toy, Grumpy Gus. Hmm. As they passed the toy store the next day, the hog mollies noticed Gus in the window and they stopped to wave and smile. See guys, Harley said with the wink, aren't you glad we did the right thing? They did something right. And besides knowing they did the right thing, they still got a surprise. So can you guys tell me down in the comments below a time when you did something that was right, even if it was hard? I'll be back tomorrow with another story. I love and miss you guys. Please send me a message on Facebook. I can know what you're doing. I miss you guys. Talk to you soon.